स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर एटीन थ्री डायमेंशनल शेप्स प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर्टी वन डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स रिकॉल सम थ्री डी शेप्स इन रियल लाइफ यू आर फेमिलियर विद शेप्स सच एज अ क्यूब कोन सिलेंडर रेक्टेंगुलर प्रिजम स्क्वेर पिरामिड एंड अ स्पीय सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट रेक्टेंगुलर prisms which are also called as cuboids now here in this figure you can see all the faces of a cuboid are rectangular and its opposite faces are identical or congruent the cuboid is also a quadrangular prism how many edges does a cuboid have so first let's count the edges edges means you can see here ab is one edge ap is another edge so like this if we take the top rectangle we will have four edges on top similarly four edges down and four edges at the sides so total four threes are 12 edges a cuboid has then how many vertices does it have you can see each vertices is named in this figure vertice a vertice b c then d similarly below you can see vertice p vertice q vertice r here and vertice s so altogether a cuboid has eight vertices how many faces does it have face on top the top rectangle is one face here a b c d is one face the bottom rectangle is another face pqrs and four faces at the sides this one rectangle second third this side behind and fourth here so all together 4 plus 2 six faces a cuboid has got so a cuboid has 12 edges eight vertices and six faces let's learn about cubes there is a dice in the figure alongside what difference do you see in the shape of a dice and that of a cuboid well a cuboid is rectangular in shape whereas a dice is square when all the faces of a quadrangular prism are equal squares it is called a cube now how many faces does a cube have so just like a cuboid a cube also has got six faces one top face a bottom face and four faces at the sides so total six faces how many edges does a cube have so four edges on top four edges similarly at the bottom and four edges here at the sides so this way it has got 12 edges and how many vertices does a cube have just like a cuboid a cube also has got four vertices on top and four vertices at the bottom total eight vertices so we can say that cubes has a cube has six faces 12 edges and eight vertices now let's learn about triangular prisms what is the shape of the faces at the base and at the top of the figure alongside so at the base and at the top we can see the shape is triangular what is the shape of the faces on the sides on the sides we can see that it's rectangular such a figure is called a triangular prism now how many edges can you see so in the figure we can count 1 2 3 at the sides Three on top and three at the bottom, so total nine. So we can say that a triangular prism has nine edges. How many vertices? Three vertices on top and three vertices below, total six vertices. And how many faces does a triangular prism has got? One face on top, one face at the bottom. and three faces at the sides so all together 3 plus 2 five faces a triangular prism has got all together so this way we have studied 
triangular prism. Now let's learn about cylinders. You must have seen a tall box with a circular base. A tin like this is a familiar example of a cylinder. If the tin is closed, it is a closed cylinder. A closed cylinder has two flat surfaces which are circular and one curved face. So you can see the circular face one on top, then circular face down and a curved face in the middle. A closed cylinder has two flat circular face and one curved face. The cylinder has two circular edges and no vertex. Can you give some examples of cylinders you are familiar with? Think about it. Yes, you might get various images in your mind like pipes, cold drink cans, battery, gas cylinder, candle, etc. So these are all examples of cylinders. Okay, objects, 3D objects which come in cylindrical shape. Next, we shall learn about pyramids. Now, what are pyramids? You already must have seen images of pyramids. So, this shape which you see here is a pyramid. The top or apex here, the top or the apex of this shape is pointed like a needle. As the base of this shape is a quadrilateral, it is called a quadrangular pyramid. So, you can see the base is quadrangle in shape, quadrilateral. Okay, quadrangular pyramid is the name given to this. Now, count the edges, vertices and faces of this shape. So, let's start counting. Let's see how many faces are there. So, bottom one face and sides one, two, three, four faces all together because it is quadrangular in shape. So, 4 plus 1 bottom, 5 faces. Edges, 4 edges below for the quadrilateral. And we will have 4 edges on top of each triangle that is formed due to this quadri quadrilateral. So, 4 plus 4, 8 edges. And vertices, 4 vertices of the quadrilateral below. And 1 at the top. So, total 4 plus 1, 5 vertices. Hence, we can say a quadrangular pyramid has 5 faces, 8 edges and 5 vertices. So, this is all about a quadrangular pyramid. Now, similarly, can we check a triangular pyramid? Yes. When the base is a triangle, we get a triangular pyramid. So, this figure here, it is called a triangular pyramid. Count and write the number of its edges, vertices and faces. Let's start with edges first. Three edges will be there for the triangle below. And three formed by this triangles. So, total six edges. Vertices, three corners of the triangle from the three vertex and one on top. 3 plus 1, 4 vertices. And what about the faces? 1 face at the bottom and 3 faces at the sides. So, total 3 plus 1, 4 faces. So, a triangular pyramid has got 6 edges, 4 vertices and 4 faces all together. Now, let's learn about cones. You are familiar with examples of cones. You can see two of them in the pictures below. The first one has been closed after filling it with ice cream. Its circular top is closed. So that's a closed cone. And the second one here, this is a clown's cap. The circular base of this cap is not closed. It's open. Now let's study the cone in detail. The tip of the cone is called its apex. A cone that is closed by a flat disc has one curved face, one circular face, flat face and one circular edge. An open cone has a curved face and a circular edge but no flat face if it's open. So this is about cone. Now let's learn the last one which is spears. The shape of a laddu, a ball, a short put is called a spear. 
the sphere has just one curved face it does not have any vertices or edges as you can see in the picture no vertices no edges just one curved face so now that you are familiar with the different 3d objects and figures we shall start with our practice set number 41 you have to write the number of faces edges and vertices of each shape in the table so let's start practice set 41 the different figures given to us are cylinder which is this way cone pentagonal pyramid hexagonal pyramid hexagonal prism and pentagonal prism so let's start with cylinder first faces cylinder as you know has got curved face and flat faces too two flat faces and one curved face vertices there are no vertices in a cylinder so let's see the answer a face of a cylinder total three two flat you can write in bracket which three two flat one on top one at the bottom plus one curved so total three faces vertices zero and edges we have two edges for a cylinder okay circular edges one on top and one at the bottom let's write for cone now so this way you're going to write a table in your book form a table and you can draw the shape if you want or you can start with the faces vertices and edges directly so refer the textbook for the different shapes now cone look at the cone in your textbook on page 97 in practice set 41 and answer the question faces it has got two faces one flat at the bottom plus one curved okay we are talking about a closed cone here then vertices just one at the top and edges one circular at the bottom next pentagonal pyramid pentagonal means you know it will have five triangles so let's see the faces a pentagonal pyramid has got five triangles which are facing which are at the sides and one pentagon at the bottom which makes total five plus one six faces and vertices the five vertices of the pentagon at the bottom and one top vertice makes total five plus one six vertices for the pentagonal pyramid and edges the five edges below of the pentagon and five edges of the triangles which are formed total five plus five ten edges so this way we have written the answer for pentagonal pyramid now let's write for hexagonal pyramid so just like pentagonal pyramid there was a pentagon at the bottom now it will be a hexagon at the bottom hexagon means six sides so six bottom sides plus one uh, the six bottom sides okay we will have for the vertices plus one on top so vertices will get seven what about the faces the hexagonal face at the bottom and six triangles at the side six plus one seven faces we will get here okay so let's write for hexagonal pyramid seven faces six triangles at the sides plus one hexagon at the bottom total seven faces vertices six of the hexagon vertices each and one at the top plus one seven and edges will be six of the hexagon and six of the triangles total 12 we will get the edges for the hexagonal pyramid what about hexagonal pyramid prism now it's a prism not a pyramid so let's write for hexagonal prism the faces will be eight how the breakup is given in the bracket write accordingly six rectangles at the sides plus two hexagons one on top one at the bottom this way it forms total eight faces vertices you will count each you will get six on top six below 12 vertices and edges you will get six on top of the top face 
six at the bottom of the bottom face and six you will get at the sides that means you will all altogether get six threes are 18 edges now let's write for pentagonal prism faces will be seven five rectangles at the side since it is a pentagon it will have five sides and two faces of the pentagons one on top one at the bottom so 5 plus 2 total 7 faces vertices total 10 of each pentagon one top pentagon 5 vertices bottom pentagon 5 vertices so total 10 vertices and edges 5 of the top pentagon 5 of the bottom pentagon and 5 of the height of each rectangle that is there at the sides so total five threes are 15 we will have the edges so this way we have completed our practice set 41 if you can form the 3d shapes at home with paper you will be able to understand each shape much clearly with its faces vertices and edges so do practice and try to make some 3D objects on your own. So complete your practice set 41 in your notebook by forming this table and entering the correct answers. And do try to understand the concept. So stay safe, keep learning and thank you. With this we have also completed our portion.